Ready for this glorious moment? Sixty-four millimeter Ryan's Diesel Services Turbo. Sixty-four millimeter Ryan's Diesel Services Turbo. It's really cool because it has. Ryan's diesel services engraved on here. We are giving away a turbo. If, if you didn't know already, head over to jwmorsportsco.com. Every dollar you spend is one entry. Giveaway does end February 15th. So you have time if you're watching this before February 15, 2022. If you're watching this after February 15th or you're not interested in entering the giveaway, if you want to purchase one, head over to ryansdieselservices.com. And you can use the promo code JW Montoya. You get 5% off. We got about $150 off of this unit just by using my 5% code. Today, we're going to be installing Ryan's Diesel Services 64 millimeter turbo on Donnie's 2017 L5P Duramax. First things first, I have to rearrange a couple of vehicles. Only about four or five hours behind schedule. We are always behind schedule, but we still get things done. Anyway, went to Walmart, got some rain wrap to wrap around the front of the truck and we're, I'm still gonna put a blanket on it. Really like to use one of those and pillows instead of using a topside creeper. Topside creeper still really like tears up my stomach but laying on a couch cushion has made doing turbo so much easier. That's just something I've done in the past but let me know in the comments below what your technique is to use a topside creeper or to use a couch cushion like me. Ryan's 64 millimeter turbo. We did reach out to our tuner. Uh, we are waiting for a revision as well but but if we get everything bolted on tonight, we're gonna start the truck and just to see how it sounds. And we're gonna request and see if we can close the veins at idle so that way it can sound like a jet. That'll be really cool. In case you guys are wondering, we did get the race turbo. So Ryan has two turbos for the L5Ps. You have the tow charger and then the race charger. Now we went with the race charger because this turbo has a six blade compressor wheel and the 10 blade larger turbine. It's 100% factory drop in, so you, there's really no modifications needed. And it, this one is a brand new unit. This is not a reman or anything like that. Everything internal has been replaced by Ryan though. It does retain the factory exhaust brake. And then this is gonna lower the EGTs with better drivability. And then you can use this turbo on 100% emission intact L5P. So trucks like Matt, Matt's truck is completely uh, emission compliant. So we can do a drop in turbo on his truck. He will actually get improved performance on his emission compliant Duramax, almost like our off-road tunes. You just won't be able to hear that whistle as much. So, you know, for the most of the times when we upgrade the turbo, it's because we want to be able to hear the turbo a little bit more on the emission compliant side. The, the difference might not be as noticeable, but you will get more performance out of it. If that's something you're looking to do, I recommend it. This unit has made 640 horsepower and 12, 13 foot pounds of torque. He said that that test truck was on 37 inch tires and stock fueling. So if you upgrade your injectors and pump, turbo itself is capable of pushing up to 700 horsepower, which is pretty impressive. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Keep that in mind. If your horsepower goals are maybe 640, 650, then this is a very good turbo to do a drop in. Let's go ahead and get this install started. First thing we're going to do is Donnie's going to wipe down the truck a little bit before we start saran wrapping it. Just cleaning the truck a little bit before we start saran wrapping it. I'm telling you, this GM paint, my, my truck's a little bit worse. This truck is ready for COVID now. Fully masked up. Seven sixteen. Yep. Okay. We just removed the intake. Now we are going to remove the hot side pipe. I love it when people say I don't work on trucks. You know what I mean? Sometimes I get comments. Mm -hmm. I feel Mondo working on his truck. And then people comment be like, you don't ever work on your truck. You don't know how to work on a truck. I mean, I'm not a mechanic by any means, but I know how to do what I need to do. I know. It's hilarious. It's we get fun. it done. Yeah. 
I'll learn. You gotta remove this clip. Once you undo the hot side pipe, I'll remove this out the way from the bracket. Now you have the bracket on the AC compressor. You just need 13 millimeter sockets, remove this bracket, and then we can get to the AC compressor. And then we're gonna undo the AC compressor and move it out the way. And then we're gonna do the Y bridge. It's been an hour since we started working on this. Not even an hour. Matt swung by. We're gonna tell him we already put the new turbo in just to see what he says. <laughs> That's still the factory turbo. <laughs> So we're putting it back together. Y'all done already? Yeah. Nuh-uh. No, uh, L5P is super easy. No way. Yeah, all that's I needed it. was this to put it back together. That's the, that's the new one right there. No, that's the old one. It's the same as the new, uh, new one. That one looks really clean, though. What? Yeah, because Donnie's truck only has 40,000 miles. Oh. <laughs> that's it already? Yeah, one hour. Wow. You're lying. They're lying. <laughs> They're I'm about lying. to say. I'm about to say. <laughs> no. That's the old turbo, right? No. That's the new turbo. That's okay. clean. It's the new one. I'm about to say, no way. I still see the. I'm looking at this part back there and I'm like. That's rusty. Man, that and this is all rusty that. back there. I'm like, I still see a rusty one in there. <laughs> this Matt, is what I need. This is what we were looking I for. I see him, baby. He's fine. Okay, cool. He's going to with you because the doggy's there. The dog? Who that ain't doing nothing, huh? I'm not the dog. Next is the turbo mouthpiece, which is two 13 millimeter, one right here, one right there. You can either use a swivel or I like to use this flexible bendy extension. For me, I think it works really well. All right, so right now we are using a half inch breaker bar to put it on the tensioner belt. So we're supposed to remove the uh, intake horn or the turbo mouthpiece right here. I removed one of the nuts or bolts. I gotta remove the other bolt, but the AC compressor bolt right here is kinda in the way. I'm gonna see if I can just remove the AC compressor first and then remove the turbo mouthpiece. As skinny as I used to be and I saw some pictures of you, you ain't either, bro. <laughs> We don't, we don't know the weight limit on this thing, and oh, we're no. both standing on it, so it's kind of sketch. Yeah, you stay so, on your side, I'll stay yeah. on mine. <laughs> to stand on the legs, okay? Stand on the legs, yeah. Strongest part. <laughs> so we should be removing the AC compressor out the way. You still got no harness, so r remove all these clips. There it is. There she is. There okay. she is. Just had to muscle it a little bit and just line it up, I think. It sucks. That's so cold. <laughs> there she is. There we go. Move it all the way. You can bring it this way. Okay. Since we have everything covered. We'll put it over there by the battery. Because we need to lay on this space. And then now, we can very easily get to this bolt for the turbo mouthpiece. Oh, that's what's up. She needs me? No, no she needs can't believe this thing doesn't even have a... That's only one clamp. bolt holding that whole thing on? No, two. two. Okay. I was able to get to the other side. Okay, easy. gotcha. What? We just disconnected all of these connections. Now we got to unbolt the Y bridge and then remove it. Then we should be able to access the turbo and the turbo should come out. Move the bolts from the Y bridge. So there's four bolts right here. Ready for this glorious moment. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! I got it. You got it? Ooh. Nope. <laughs> That's why it's the old turbo anyway. Yeet! Yeet. Garbage. No, it's still, that's 400 bucks right there. I don't know right if I said garbage. That's 400 bucks. That's the core charge. We need the money back. There you go. <clears throat> oh, you said so Ryan's? What's there. left in there? Yeah. We got Alex Where over here. Things? Learning. We're showing Alex what turbos are all about a little turbo 101 so gm makes this this that is that is a factory borg warner charger 
that he gets and modifies them. So they open them and change the internals? He changes all the internals, all the bearings and everything. So, you, but you can't do it to this one? He can. He just, he just rather buy a brand new unit and then replace like the all the internals. Yes. And well, then. I wonder what 5 1 versus 3 1 is. Good question. One two eight four. One two eight four. And what is the difference? One zero one five zero. It's the same. Yeah. Cause this one says W two and this one says W one. Hmm. The difference is big. So that if you look at the factory charger, you see that wheel. You see how it's got more blade. Mhm. Mm and this one's got less blade. So that's what makes it whistle. That's what gives it that whistle. That's gonna be some high quality bearings in there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and then what they do is they actually made the hole bigger. You can tell just by looking at it. This outside trowel mm -hmm. looks like, it looks beveled right here mm -hmm. and it's a little bit thinner. Yep. What does that blade say? Ryan's diesel service. Dang, he even etches. Yeah, it's pretty laser, cool. Huh? Laser engraved. That's pretty cool. And then on the back side, the exhaust side, that's a 10 blade wheel versus the factories. Oh, that's different. I'm gonna turn oh my god, covered in soot. Yeah, right? Yeah, that versus. Yeah. Damn. And this one? What's the difference? The clean. That's one. And the blades are kind of. They're definitely different. Oh, yeah. That's way bigger. Look, look at yep. the size of them. Yeah. You see? Yeah. That's like a, at least half an inch, or close to half an inch bigger. Yeah. Every inch matters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Size matters. So next day, here we have the old turbo, and here we have new Ryan's Diesel Services 64 millimeter turbo. Right now, what we're doing is just transferring some of the old stuff, uh, transferring stuff from this turbo to this turbo, such, such as this sensor right here. It was a 14 millimeter. Uh, all you gotta do is unscrew it and put it on the new turbo. And the next is the uh, oil line. We gotta transfer this to here. While we're installing the Ryan's 64 millimeter turbo on this L5P, another thing we're gonna be doing is we have a new product and this is going to be your oil fill relocation kit on the L5P Duramax and PCV reroute. So this is pretty much the whole kit that you need. It is billet. You can powder coat it however you want. One of the main reasons of this kit is anyone who's done an oil change on the Duramax knows that the knows that the oil fill neck is right there in which it's in a pretty awkward spot. So, we're going to relocate it up here to get these out. Um, we're using a T30 and um, these bolts are gonna be useless when you're done. They're not reusable. And uh, the way we did it was put the T30 on there. Just kinda hammer it down a little bit. All right, so this one, the nut kind of got stripped. So how to use a T40 and just hammer it in there and then got it loose. So if you if you end up stripping yours with a T30, try a T40 because it'll work. Just like that. Just like that. Wow, fine. just for those little two little holes, you got this all of this box that's pretty ugly in my opinion use these two turn the screws, the screws and that's how that goes in and then we block that off oh yeah it's gonna look way cleaner than before oh yeah should have taken it and it's hopefully easier to oh yeah dude doing an oil change on this is gonna be way easier yep oh it looks so much better Looks way better already. 
All right, so we had to take a little break because I was trying to cut this pipe from here and I successfully cut it and I also successfully cut my skin too and it sliced it pretty good and it wouldn't stop bleeding. So I got to check back in about an hour and see if it stops bleeding. We I couldn't find my athletic tape, so we're using Tessa tape and it works pretty good. New gaskets. I'm going to try to help you drop this and film at the same time. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Good luck. This thing weighs like a ton. No, it's not too bad. So I'm just trying to move some of the lines. All right. You really gonna feel me putting this in there? Yeah. Oh. Somebody's got to. It's heavy. You can feel me dropping it in there if you want. Oh. You, you, you slid down. <laughs> Here. Oh. It sits there. <laughs> He was laughing at me when I was dangling like that yesterday. <laughs> yes, I was. Okay. I think we are finally in. Uh oh. Okay. We're lined up. We are lined up. What are those bolts? For the turbo bolts? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have <laughs> Turbo pedestal bolts are 43 foot pounds. Nap time or turbo swap time? I'm not sure. <laughs> you look super comfy in there. <laughs> so, well, we had to take these bolts back out from the pedestal because the turbo's got to come back out. Unfortunately. And that's because the bolt that goes onto the oil return tube. The connecting tube snapped last night. So you guys have ever heard of that one saying you're one bolt away from two hour job turning into a project? Maybe. Yeah. Three like, day project. We literally had the turbo in and we're like, all right, we're almost done. And then freaking bolt snaps and now it's a project. So <laughs> Donnie works 12 hour shifts, gets off at seven and they eat it's nine o'clock and we're just and, and again. we're just now starting and he's got to wake up at five and this thing's heavy Hold on, I can't even... and this week i have sema and pmc so i'm meeting companies all day long on a virtual sema uh, platform so i just got off at seven as well so we need to make this really tight not tight enough so here's where we are about four days later. Yeah. Fortunately, uh, Donnie's been getting off at seven, coming home, eating, and we get, we've been getting like maybe 30 minutes to an hour at a time to work on it. So finally this Saturday, we're like, let's just spend the Saturday to finish the turbo. But we were waiting on the gaskets for Monday and Tuesday. And then until yesterday, we were trying to get that screw that got uh, broken off on the oil feed connecting tube which is what i'm doing right now yep and then just our luck is great uh that plastic piece right there actually snapped for some reason and we had to order another one, one from the dealership it got here in a day so right now just bolting the turbo back on there and we're gonna do something interesting after this we gotta do an oil change we're gonna switch over to hot shot secrets make sure to get some of that sample oil so uh, we can send it off for oil analysis. Yeah. You got to do it in midstream, like like uh, drug test. We're going to drive this truck around before getting a revision just to show you guys uh, how much of a difference getting a revision makes. We're going to drive this hopefully tonight. I think Donnie's going to get it done. All right, finishing up. Almost done. Last thing we got to do is add coolant back. And the way I do it is, I don't know if I already explained it, and I get the concentrate, which you have to add water. This is about $16 in, at Walmart. You can buy one that's pre-mixed already, and that's about $12. But if you buy this, and buy a gallon of distilled water. Now you get two gallons of coolant for about $16, whereas you have to buy uh, the 50-50 pre-mixed one. It'll be about $22 or about $24 to get two gallons. So this is a cheaper way to do it in my opinion and that's just you get more coolant out of your money
All right, y'all, last thing on our turbo swap is to doing an oil change. And while we are doing the oil change, we are doing oil analysis from Hot Shot Secrets. You want to do it midstream, so you want to let it flow. Yeah, flow a little then, bit. Yeah. First oil change in 10,000 miles. It's running, and we take the sample. Okay. And okay, just like that. It's really, really. What do you call it? This oil is really thick because we didn't start the truck. Yeah, I think he said ideally you do want to let the truck run a little bit. It gets, yeah, so remember we he can, said that so it can get like mixed up, but we really didn't want to start the truck with all the oil going through the turbo. So we'll see how this works out. If, yeah. if that's enough all right this sample mm -hmm. it's pre-delete pre-delete so yeah i did this before i deleted the truck oh really yeah like only like a couple days and i drove it to get it deleted to get it deleted There you go. Oh, are you me to do it? Yeah, because I'm going to get an audio clip. Okay. I'll film. Oh, you, you look excited. That? Oh, I am. All right. Everything was torqued down, so. Everything, you know, we, it's, it's ready. Yeah. Let's see what happens. All right. Hasn't been started in a week. All right. It's a legit cold start with the new turbo. Not sure why he's not starting it. Okay, any time now. Something wrong? What? It drive so far. So far, so good. Any lag or? No, no lag at all. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to step on it because my yeah. transmission is cold. It's at 84 degrees. But I mean, we haven't done a revision yet, and it's still no. driving, still pretty good. Oh yeah. That's crazy. But I was told by Dan that it was okay to just drive it without. Just drive it without a revision, even though we have. Okay. So tomorrow, yeah, we'll, we'll see the difference. We'll see if it makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here it is. One thing I noticed right away. Uh, not talking about the turbo, but the truck idles way nicer, way quieter with Hot Shot Secrets oil. I am not even exaggerating. It purrs like a kitten now. Before it was like an old angry cat. Now it's no BS. We just need an oil change drove it like what a mile or two yeah i don't hear the fat rider and your truck used to, to oh it they, used to go tack, 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 yeah, it went injector, for like two or three the days the injector tick used to yeah. be really loud and a lot of thing a lot something that a lot of people complain about rotella oil which is what i used to use a lot is when you freshly do an oil change it makes your ch uh, truck tick a lot that's one thing i noticed a lot on the on the forums is that people post something like hey what is this tickness sound i'm hearing i just did an oil change 
And for Rotella, after about 10, 15,000 miles, it gets a little quieter. But with Hotshot, it's like immediately it got quieter. Yeah. Like not even joking. You guys, I've, I've done a video on Instagram before where I compared Donnie's truck and my truck, how it was ticking before. No 5 feet Duramax, here's a real difference between Hot Shot Oil and your regular Rotella. You hear the ticking? Purrs like a kitten. It's way quieter. You want to rev your uh, truck a little bit for us? Turbo though. this l5p install video i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned because we are going to be doing a review on this turbo uh, a little bit more in depth on what we think of this turbo and how it drives and we are going to be doing a comparison video of this turbo versus my truck stay tuned for that one because that's going to be a really interesting comparison to see if uh how factory borg warner charger does compared to ryan 64 millimeter turbo in my opinion this L5P Turbo, so my LOI 64mm Turbo and the LML that I had was 66mm Turbo with the 10 blade, on those trucks it made a lot more noticeable difference in the way the turbo sounds. However, these L5P chargers from Borg Warner, it sounds amazing from the factory. So, it already sounds like a 6.0 when you delete and straight pipe these L5Ps. So we were kind of curious to see how much of a difference it would make putting a 10 blade and doing a 64 millimeter turbo the, the difference is there but not as significant as other generations of duramaxes but still the difference is there and the turbo sounds amazing so make sure to comment below <laughs> make sure to comment below let us know what you think of this turbo hit that subscribe button for more future duramax content but i'll see you guys next time peace like comment and subscribe <laughs>